Hello, Boxing Fanaticos. This is Andrew here to do another boxing analysis. This analysis is between Deontay, the Bronze Bomber Wilder versus Chris, the Nightmare Ariola. Chris, the Nightmare Ariola, very tough, gritty, always comes forward, very aggressive, and uh, he likes to dictate the pace of the fight. You know, he uses his jab to come in up and down, and he loves to land that big right hand. Another one is his, special, his specialty punches is uh, his left hook. He has a very good left hook uh, to the body and the head, but he usually throws it to the chin, to the temple or the chin area. Now, when it comes to uh, Deontay Wilde, he has a lot of intangibles, uh, very awkward. It was a bronze uh, medal winner, and I believe it was the 2008 Olympics. It could be wrong. could be 12. And... Um, very talented heavyweight, six foot seven, some say six six. Uh, very long reach, extremely long reach. Like I think it's eighty five or eighty nine. Uh, his record is thirty six and zero with thirty five knockouts. Beautiful record. I think it's like a ninety three, probably ninety five percent knockout ratio. Now with Chris Ariola, um, he's in the thirty six. I think thirty six wins and four losses. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, I'm just doing this off, off the top of my head. And I just really feel that unless Chris Ariola really works on staying in really good shape, it's not going to be about who weighs more on the night of the fight. It's going to come down to who wants it more, who has the most will plus skill and using the right game plan and execute it effectively. And, uh, rain general show would be the key. Um, of course, using your jab will be the key for Chris. If he wants to get inside. And he wants to uh, do some real damage. He's gonna have to get inside. You're not gonna be able to outbox every. I mean, uh, outbox uh, Wilder. It's just not gonna happen. Wilder has too long of a jab and too long of a reach. And if he reaches in with his jab and it's not fast and crisp, that could be a good night for him. Because Deontay Wilder's specialty punch is a straight laser-like, lightning-like right hand. And if he lands it on his temple or chin, and Chris has been hurt many times before. He's a warrior. It's a Mexican. You know. He just, he goes hard. You feel me? And I, I respect him a lot. He's one of my favorite boxers today. So, um, my breakdown, I feel that Chris Ariel is going to come out pretty, I'll say he comes out pretty fast. Uh, tries to throw some really hard punches, uh, establishes jab and get in the inside. Now, if he does start off slow and Deontay starts off slow, like most heavyweights do, then it could benefit Deontay more because he has the better stamina throughout the rounds even though Chris Ariola said he would try to drown him in the later rounds I think Deontay Wilder actually learns you quicker if you let him go more rounds pretty intelligent of a boxer and uh it only takes one you know this is the heavyweight division if he lands on that sweet spot on that chin or the temple area it's it's that can be a good night. And uh, Deontay Ward is deceptively quick, too. He has a really good left hook. Um, he knocked out many people with that left hook. But his right, straight right hand is the money punch. Um, I see Deontay Water boxing him first. Um, I see it going his way. Majority of the fight is just what I see. If I play this fight over and over in my head, that's what I see. <sighs> and it's going to be in Birmingham, Alabama in his hometown. I'm just thinking of all the intangibles. He loves being in his hometown. He thrives on the pressure. Uh, there's no really no pressure when it comes to him. I haven't seen him really fold uh, being in his hometown. He loves his people, loves the locals. Uh, Chris may be something different for him because he's not used to training in that type of muggy, humid heat that is southeast uh, you know, of the United States. It's very muggy and humid. Uh, he's used to dry heat like Cali and Vegas and you know everything like that, but it's just a difference. And uh, Chris Key's the victory. Let me get to it. I'm rambling here. Chris Key's the victory is throw the jab, establish the jab, back Deontay Wilder up, even though Deontay Wilder is pretty good backing up. But Deontay Wilder does his best work when he comes forward. Um, Back him up, rough him up, hold when you need to. When you get hurt, hold and then reset with, back with your jab, throwing straight right hands down the pipe to his body, try to soften up the body and then come back up with a left hook. So basically like a 3-2 combination, but to the body and to the head. Uh, lead left hooks will be needed. If you see an opening and Deontay Wilder gets a little lazy sometimes with his guard and he has his hands down to his side sometimes, take advantage of that. 
I see him doing that, then you could you could have a possibility of hurting Deontay Wilder and maybe even knocking him down getting a stoppage because Chris has power. I believe he has 20-something knockouts himself. Let me know in the comment section below. And um, he's a pretty good puncher. So Deontay Wilder gets lazy anytime. It can be a big, big, big shocker to all of us. I still have Deontay Wilder uh, when it all comes down to it. If Chris uh, Chris Ariola does win, it'll be by knockout. If if Deontay Wilder wins, it will be by um, I say it'd be a quick knockout, like fifth, sixth round. But even if it goes to a decision, I just really see Deontay Wilder establishing the jab, throwing the one two like he always does. Occasionally throwing a big left hook, uh, jab then a left hook, left hook then a straight right hand, and just moving around the ring laterally. And getting a decision. But if he does land a big punch and lands flush, he knows how to finish. He's a great finisher. So that's my analysis, my people. If you have any further comments you want to add to this video, comment in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I love the feedback. And um, like I said, I just can't wait. Well, I love heavyweight action. I grew up on heavyweights and middleweights and welterweights. Those are my favorite. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Deontay Water. My official uh, analysis, I'll say fifth round knockout. Soften him up with the jab, establish range, establish, establish distance, and I believe his mid-range game will be key. Throw that jab, throw the two, boom, knockout. Chris Ariel's flat on the ground, busted nose, bleeding, out. Deontay Wise raising his hand and still WBC champ. So, like I said, let me know what you think. Peace. Seneco Kakona.